When I walk through a jam No one knows who I am Put your head on my chest And I'm Mr. Success Never closed me a deal All right, today what we're going to do is take up the rest of the garlics and then we're going to remove the straw I'm going to turn up the soil and we're going to plant our heirloom Italian cow peas. Uh, they're a short grown season uh, so we'll have plenty of time uh, to plant them and harvest them and uh, they should come up by August. So let's take it from here. If I don't have to. Well, shrimpy, but these are the different kinds. <clears throat> They're not the red ones. One, garlic hole. Let's go rinse them off. Set them out to dry. This here is what my wife named our assault vehicle. This is uh, our, our assault weapon, actually. This is uh, in our combat and our fight against rising vegetable prices. that are washed, they're drying, and um, as you can see, they're not too bad. I mean, here's my hand. I mean, we got some good ones. We got some teeny ones. Um, it's strange, because I thought they were going to be ready. But anyway, that's where we're at. Um, what I want to show you here, <coughs> where we're getting at here, is I want to show you this catalog. Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. This is... Uh, where we get our seeds every year and uh, it's a beautiful coffee table catalog very glossy beautiful pictures and uh, it's free it's every kind of, all they do is uh, non GMO and heirloom seeds I, I love the place anyway here's the seeds that um, I ordered that are going to go now in the area I just tilled they're called Resina del Transfiorino, and it's an Italian cow pea. It's new this year. Um, these, of course, are not the pictures of the cow pea. So I ordered these. Let me read you what it says. Uh, Resina del Transfiorino. Tiny cream-colored peas. Dwarf plants give very good early yields. A drought-tolerant variety that is good for small gardens. A rare heirloom from the Perugia area of Italy, collected by our friend, Italian friend, Angelo Barbetti. So thanks, Angelo. We got some seeds, and uh, let me open them up here and see what they look like. Okay, I managed to cut it off by accident, so I'm gonna. Oops, there we go. Um, I talked to the lady, real nice lady on the phone. She said they're a, um, they give a nice creamy colored, creamy textured uh, cow pea uh, that's very popular in Italy. Hold on, here we go. And uh, they, uh, they cook it and they serve it with rice. And uh, sort of like a red beans and rice that we know here. Um, but they serve it with rice or um, they mix them like that. Uh, with other green beans and uh, it's a side dish but when it's served with rice it's a main dish or you can mash it and make a soup with them 
So she said that from what she understands, the flavor is very mild, creamy, and very tasty. It's got a, a significantly unique flavor. So I thought, okay, that's it. We'll buy them. So I got the package. These are uh, the seeds that I'm going to plant. And um, we'll have another nice crop of vegetables where um, I had the garlics. And uh, again, I'm going to plant garlics this fall. Uh, but I don't plant them till middle of November. So these will definitely be in, in full bloom and uh, giving us food. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for looking so far. And uh, will join me in a minute here once I uh, put these uh, cow peas in the dirt. Okay, I didn't have enough seed for four rows. So um, I only planted three. So here's where we're at. We'll see how those... Ow. Almost killed myself with a rake. We'll see how those uh, cow peas come up. And uh, there you have it.